Hello YouTube and welcome to another Napoleon Total War Multiplayer Battle. This is a 4 vs 4, the map is Italian Grassland. So I am <coughs> I'm going to skip the builds, I'm going only to see the players because uh, that will take a uh, long time. Okay, let's see my team, we are on the defender side. This is Kaiser Doggy, he plays as Great Britain and he holds the right flank. Left of him, this is a Hellenic warrior, he plays also as Great Britain and he holds a, a one of two central positions. Here is me, I'm playing as Austria. I command the army of so Austria and I have the I am next to Hellenic and I'm gonna play in the center too. Here is a Larinium. He's commanding the army of France and he's gonna hold the left flank. So let's see from the opposite side. Legio 10 Equestus Venoria. He plays as Great Britain. He holds the right uh, flank of the attacker side. Here is uh, Leac. He plays as Prussia. He's gonna be in the center, opposite to me. Here is uh, Skarspat, he commands the army of Ottoman Empire. He also plays a... Uh, he holds the center and he's gonna be opposite to Hellenic warrior. Here is uh, Aragon, he holds uh, the left flank and he's gonna play as Prussia. So, let the game begin. I will try to cover all the battlefield because, because it was a, a great battle and it was all over all over the map so during the game I lost sometimes my concentrate because I had to fight in uh, multiple multiple uh, spots and that was not good for me so what we have here first fight in the game you know, we will try to take this uh, uh, hill with our cavalry forces I have uh, my Ulans, my horses, my courses, not my courses, they are not here, they, they are back there. So, uh, I will try to engage the Ottoman cavalry, though I I go charged by these guys, the C5 cavalry. I lost some men to my first horses, but I think I, I can win the fight with my first horses. Larinum is gonna help me against this uh, Ottoman cavalry. But uh, the Ottoman general Skazbat, he is going to give a boost morale to his soldiers so they can fight better. That will be hard for us to take them down. Lorim, he sent his forces, his cavalry forces, over here. He's trying to prevent Layak to get inside the forest. While uh, <coughs> Elenic and uh, I'm not sure if this uh, this doggy, yeah. Yeah, Hellenic and Doggy, they are going to take this, uh, the hill over here, the forest over there, and Hellenic is also going to, is, uh, also going to play here on the center. So there is a foot infantry square here, they're trying to shoot the enemy cab. I will take back mine. You see, I got my men up here, and I'm going to take my cab, I'm going to save them, and I'm going to, fo I'm going to form squares to shoot down the Ottoman Cav. So Skarspad has some shots here. He got three light infantry units, four foot infantry, five sorry, another six coming, another shot is coming. Actually he's sending all his troops here on the center. So Aragon here he will try to Probably he will try to <coughs> to give to get some men inside this forest and uh, control it. But uh, then he will send two of his light infantry units. Let's see if, if they're gonna shoot. Yeah, he will try to nail the advancing Prussian units. They are not shooting yet. Probably the Prussians are out of range at the moment. 
so here we have uh, Argon. He's trying to push his uh, Prussian uh, lines against uh, against <coughs> uh, Doggy. We have four cavalry units, which they will try to reinforce the left Prussian flank with the foot cards here. Are there foot cards? Foot cards? Yeah, three foot cards. What Doggy has here? He has a uh, foot infantry, uh, King Germans. Two King Germans versus foot cards here. He has a bad position, but he will charge his 15 horses against the Prussian foot. Aragon, he will form the squares, but he did it the last m uh, minute, so he took the charge. I think the the square is broken. I'm not sure, but it seems so. Now we have a counter charge from the Prussian hussars. Let's go for cops. They will try to hit the Prussian, uh, the British light infantry, but they are stuck here. Royal Scots of Grey here. <coughs> I think the 15 horses did a very good job here versus the foot guards. They killed 53 men. While uh, Aragon, he will try to stop the King Gemma Legion foot from firing upon this uh, foot guards by sending two cavalry units. And now he's going to charge the British Latifan Cray. Oh, big trouble here for the full cards. They are dropped to 37 men, they can't form square now. They lost that chance and they have to fire the 15 horses, which they are a really hard unit to die. At the same time, Doggy Hill is going to set, send some reinforcements here to his flank. And here we can see the Prussian Light Infantry and the British they are exchanging, ex exchanging musket fire. But you know, the British have a very good position because they are inside the trees, so they are going to minimize their casualties. Okay, now what we have, we have the Prussians, they are advancing. Uh, the 50 horses, they are out of the game. And now we have 1, 2, 3 units versus the... One King German Legion foot over here, but Doggy is going to unleash his Royal Scotch of Grey Cav. Oh, that was in good charge. By the way, the game was laggy, so many of us uh, did miss some squares, so we made them at the last moment and we suffered casualties because of the lag. So Argon is going to push his Light Infantry over here, he's going to try to take. Uh, uh, to get inside the close to the British lines so he can uh, shoot them better what we have here we have uh, okay this is a problem this is something that I didn't uh, watch during the, my fight Aragon gave space here and now his uh, units are compromised his, his army is compromised because Doki is sending sent two foot infantry units from his rear and you can overflank him okay let's see what's going on, on the other side we have here the combined forces of Layak and Ligio they are trying to push us here on this uh, on this area we have uh, we are outnumbered but uh, Ligio sent a group of army over here and but that that army was trapped because Laurinum had some units here hidden, so he let uh, Ligio come over here. And uh, when he started engaging our troops, he was uh, <coughs> surrounded by the French forces. You can see here that I'm reinforcing him by sending some units, cavalry mostly, and one of my Czech regiment. Though Laurinum he will try to push the British lines from uh, this area. But here there is a foot infantry, probably these guys, they came back in the game and they are going to shoot our shish foot and the voltagers from the side while in the same time here we have um, a very hard situation because you see we can we are just trying to keep these guys from uh, pushing and take over this uh, area. We have uh, the minimum of our forces here 
we have a uh, one two three four four of mine and uh, four or five of uh, units of uh, lorinum so here there is a big fight here in the center too I'm trying to shoot down the Ottomans I'm trying to deal with the food cards the Prussian food cards Hellenic is trying to comfort the uh, Turkish swords <coughs> they are going to fight in melee and there is a melee unit they're trying to charge my guys here and also now there is Prussian cavalry up the hill so I used mine to reinforce the Lorinium over there and now I'm gonna send them back here to reinforce again the center but you see there are foot cuts around here and the uh, Prussian Cav and I can't I form two squares but uh, I already lost two units so I'm gonna use my what's this? Uglans try to take them down the Prussian Cav actually if we are going to if there is a possibility to lose the fight up here then uh, our armies will be split in two and that will be a great problem for us so Lavrim is going to pull away his left flank out of there and he's going to reinforce the center lines I'm holding as much as I can versus the Russian light infantry <coughs> and the British light infantry there are one two three four five six seven eight eight light infantry units there there is a foot car units up in the hill a form square but the Ugarian fusiliers they are not as good as the uh, as the Prussian foot guards uh, let's see what Hellenic is doing Hellenic is trying to push the Ottoman Empire from the side but uh, Aragon forces are here to reinforce the Ottoman Empire also we have a um, issue a problem with the uh, melee units the smart initiatives and um, though we've managed to kill plenty of them there is still one here with 32 men they are hunting down my my guys but the good thing for us is that the uh, Ottoman Empire is now is surrounded let's see what doggy is doing okay doggy he managed to he's pushing uh, the Prussians though there are three cavalry units from the uh, Prussian player here but as I see he suffered many casualties he had uh, yep, he lost mm, almost all, all three units of uh, Latifun tree there is a musketeer here, mm, foot cards, foot cards he lost uh, one, two units couple of musketeers and Doggy has the opportunity to push him really hard So we're gonna see a charge here, but uh, Doggy is gonna form the square, and this uh, lancers they're gonna turn to hit the British light foot infantry. While Doggy has the opportunity here to shoot down the Prussian cavalry from the side. Okay, Doggy eliminates the threat here of the Prussian cavalry. Now he's going to fix his lines again. You see, he has to watch what he's doing because of the lag of the units was uh, doing crazy stuff. Aragon has his uh, general staff nearby to his men so he can inspire them. But the King German here and uh, the foot infantry. We have foot infantry behind him, King German there. They have to fight three units here. I think. Uh, Doggy can win the fight here also he has a reinforcement back there and let's see what's going on in the center there is a big fight we're still trying to deal with the Samoa Janissaries and the Turkish uh, lines I will try to push my my lines against the Ottomans over there I'm gonna send my Guardians in melee against this Nizam foot infantry also I'm gonna send my German Fusiliers to shoot down the Nizam light infantry but Argon is going to send his uh, foot cards and musketeers here to reinforce the Ottoman player. That's bad news for me. Also, I'm still trying to hold the potions from the side while Larinum is behind his stakes. So um, that was a good 
think for us because we didn't suffer uh, great casualties because of the stakes. Also, there is uh, another British uh, group of army over here. They're trying to overflank us, and they will try to shoot us from two sides. We have an uh, six foot here on the Voltiger, and there is a foot infantry and the Fensibles and uh, light dragoon unit. And we have here a six foot old guard. We have an old one old guard there with uh, 63 men. During all this fight here, I had to take uh, my units from uh, Larinium from the left side and reinforce my center because I had uh, real troubles here versus the the Prussian uh, foot guards. Here, I will try to take down this uh, foot guard unit. I will send my Ugani and Fusiliers from uh, the rear. I'm trying to get in the rear, and I will use my other guys to shoot them down. But uh, Leak is going to use his general staff versus my Ugaria Fusiliers. That's a good move from Leak. Though here we have what we have. We have a small group of Prussian army. They will try to defend this area, but our British forces they will come down from there and they will uh, overflank them. And at the same time, we were trying to take down this uh, remaining Ottoman Empire troops. <coughs> So we are going to form square with the highlands and Elenik is going to take his light foot out of there. But the big fight is here. So we have advancing British troops. They are trying to take the <coughs> best position over here while Lorinum is uh, trapped over there. He's surrounded by three units. We have an old Swiss foot here fighting the light dragoons and here I'm gonna use my cavalry versus the foot infantry but I'm going to hit the old guard as well but I, I couldn't do anything else but I have to sacrifice my cav so we have another three units here uh, I think this guy is the line warrior here he's reinforcing our flank I will try to hit the potions yeah, they can't form square, so I'm losing units very fast here. I'm gonna get my Grenzes up there, and uh, I have my Ungarians over there. I'm not sure, but I think the Prussians are out of ammunition. So, I'm gonna go use my uh, Ungaria horses to take down the full cut there. I killed them nine men, not, not a big deal for of damage. I'm gonna turn my Grenzes, and I will try to shoot these guys uh, through from the rear and that will give them a moral penalty though I have a small problem here because I was charged by these musketeers and now this uh, light infantry they will charge from my from my side and I'm worrying about my unit morale so Elenic here he is uh, reinforcing uh, Lorinium forces and <coughs> while Ligio he's uh, pushing real hard and here is my Kurosius. I saw the Prussian general here alone and I did the charge he used the boost morale and uh, I did the same with mine by the way we killed we managed to push the Ottoman and Prussian lines out of here Leak still got uh, musketeers, uh, foot cuts, musketeers and another 8th life regiment and there is one light different from, from the Ottomans. The big fight now is here and <coughs> it's going to They are losing actually because you see we have a better position now. Lenik uh, rein he reinforced us. We have uh, superior numbers. Uh, Ligio is doing to give us as many casualties as he can while he I think he waits for reinforcements from uh, the Prussian lights over here he have Prussia has to, to get over here fast and support uh, Legio let's see what's going on here to Dogin okay 
Aragorn. He's uh, making a last stand here. He take, he took this forest. He's going to defend this forest, but he's surrounded from British forces. You see that uh, our opponents they are cut off from each other. We've managed to cut uh, cut them in uh, split them in two. So we isolated this Russian group and we are trying to take them down though there is a cav charge uh, to this King German Legion but the Aragon he's not supporting that charge with his uh, foot guards all these last ones they can be very useful in a future fight let's see what's going on yeah he has only three units he can't do much things actually I think Arag Argon is going off is he going down? Uh, he's surrounded. What do we have for infantry here? Here is a uh, good target for for the project cavalry. So Leak here, he's reinforcing his he reinforced Legio over there. We have a fight, a melee fight versus uh, Britain, Great Britain versus Great Britain. I'm not sure who is winning here, but I think uh, Laurinum is running back. Probably he is trying to get his men in a better position. But okay, this is Hellenic forces. So we are winning the fight over here, and now we are going to send our troops over here to to help Laurinum and me against the Proxian foot guards. So we have the French general al around. I still got my archduke's Ferdinand Crusiers. These guys they are pretty good, and they are not an easy unit to break. Let's see what Aragorn is doing. Okay, I think he's doing a pretty good, good last stance. Though he's outnumbered, he's trying to to make doggies uh, suffer casualties. And this way he will buy time for his uh, teammates over there. So, Leak, he's moving out. He, uh, he's moved all his forces out of there. Now there is only one uh, Nizam Light Infantry. And we're trying to push from all sides. I took my units from the center and I'm going to reinforce the flank over here while we're trying to push versus the Prussians. They still got their general staff alive <coughs> and they got some food cuts around and some of my of mine uh, maybe the, some of the French forces that are out of ammo. So I tried to use my Ungarian fusiliers to charge to these guys so I can get my other 34 men here to shoot them without taking any fire back. But uh, Leak he's a fast player, he's gonna take them back out of my shooting range. And here is a good opportunity for me to take my two units uh, from the hill and uh, take them down here, trying to overflank the, the enemy units. They still got the Legio's general staff. He is not going to participate because uh, at this time uh, Legio is uh, out of the game and he is eating. Bon appetit, my friend. So we're still hunting. We're still hunting the Prussian lines. <coughs> you can see here this uh, strange uh, running because that was from the lag. Here I'm trying to to nail these uh, musketeers. I'm not going to let them escape, and I'm going to send my unka, my courtiers against this uh, Prussian general staff. Yeah, they're down and. Here there is a foot infantry. Leia can't do many things. I'm gonna form a line here and I try to charge my guardians here but they are out of the game now. But I will use my other general fusiliers to shoot them down. Though inside the trees I can't hope for a big deal of damage. So here we have uh, some units uh, 
We have a trap Prussian unit here. They're gonna form square to defend from the French general charge. Oh, here's the Prussian general. We, there's gonna be a melee fight here versus the British and the Prussians. But these guys, they're tired. I'm very tired. So I think uh, the Prussian is going to win the fight here. But now my Archduke Ferdinand dudes, they are coming. The British general is coming too. I will try to take down them, uh, these foot guards. Yep, they are out of the game. So now I'm going to run them down and el el eliminate them so they can't get back into the game. Though it's not necessary because uh, we have already won. Only Leia can. Uh, he's uh, no, he's uh, out of the game. I think. Yeah, he's out of the game. Aragon lost there, and now the British troops of uh, Doggy they are coming over here but it's not it's not necessary so at this moment I was dropped out of the game so I'm gonna fast forward we have a general staff dead and here's the British general he's gonna die too and that all that was all so hope you enjoyed it, the game Thank you all for watching and have a Merry Christmas to all players, to all people. Thank you all and catch you later folks. See ya.